Hi everybody, it's Mrs. McCracken. We're going to go through our slides for our at-home learning for the week of April 13th through 17th, 2020 for Mrs. McCracken Scholars. Uh, the first very important thing is we have a new link for all Google Meets. Um, I hope that this will um, help everyone find our Google, Google Meets a little bit better. Um, I know that it's some of us, you know, we're having some struggles finding um, the links each time. So this is going to make it a lot easier. All you have to do now is use the link in Google Classroom, in the Google Classroom header for all of our Google Meets from now on. So if you look here where it's circled, um, oops, that is what you will click on to get to all of our Google Meets in the future. So all you have to do is know what time to show up. So you're going to want to keep track of your schedule. And it's when it's your time to have a conference or um, a Google Meet, you're just going to go to Google Classroom and click right here every time. And you won't have to, to look around for the, for the link because it'll be right there. Um, I don't think the link will be working unless I am also there, so um, just make sure that's what you're using from now on for all of our Google Meets. Make sure that you are checking your Google Calendar, though, every day, because that is where you will find your schedule for each of our Google Meets that you are scheduled to, to participate in. So use your Google Calendar to see your scheduled Google Meets. Um, you can get to the Google Calendar on Safari. You would just type in Google Calendar and log in with your TUSD, Google email and password, and again, use Google Classroom for the link. The other thing you should be checking every day is your email. Make sure you're checking your email every day for important information and announcements. You guys have been doing a really good job with that, by the way. And I love the way you are emailing me whenever you have a question. Um, you're doing great with that, so good job. Okay, so we need more books to read. So um, I've given you another option for reading. Um, you can sign up for Epic. Some of you have used Epic in the past. So I've got it all right here for you. You're going to go to this link right here. You will enter the class code JNY7736, and you'll find your name and start reading. I want you to check the mailbox right here. You'll see you have a little message in your mailbox. That's where you can find your mailbox. And um, there are two things in there. The first one is an audiobook that you can listen to called by the Great Horn Spoon, and it's an adventure story about the California Gold Rush. It's a great book. I had planned to read that together with our class this year, but um, since we won't be together, I hope you can listen to that book on your own. And then um, there is a whole list of books right here, 19 books and two videos um, about the California Gold Rush. There's a little... Um, uh, a little file of books there for you. So since we're having a, um, <clears throat> a virtual field trip on Tuesday, having to do with the California Gold Rush, you might be interested in reading those books. So again, go to your mailbox to find those books on the Gold Rush and also the audiobook for By the Great Horn Spoon. It's a great book. You'll love it, I promise. Okay, and don't forget about Raz Kids. Um, I gave a link right there for Raz Kids. Um, you should have your login in your SDoc folder. If you lost it, just let me know. Just send me an email and I will get your login for Raz Kids. So that's another option for you for your reading. And any of those you may definitely add to your reading log. Okay, again, here is a suggested schedule. So your classwork each day should be taking from two to three hours, just like it would if we were in school. Um, the bonus is that if you get everything done in the morning like this, you would have the rest of the day to yourself. 
you do not have to do it this way, but if you're if there's a different schedule that works with your family a little better, then that's fine. Um, this is just a suggestion. <clears throat> okay, here are our Google Meets this week. You guys did a great job coming to your conferences last, last week. I really enjoyed meeting with each of you one-on-one. -on -one. We still have a few people who I hope to meet with this week, but most of you were able to meet with me and it was great. So it was just wonderful to, to meet with everybody. So Monday, we have our morning meeting, our Monday meeting and prizes at 11 o'clock. And we are also gonna present our photo scavenger hunts on Monday. On Tuesday, we have a virtual field trip to learn about what life was like during the California gold rush. That's at 10 o'clock. And at 11 o'clock, I'm gonna hold office hours. So if you just have a question about something or just wanna come and chat, I'm gonna be there from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock noon. So um, that is on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we will, at 10 o'clock, we will present our All About Me videos that we've been doing through Adobe Spark and um, having fun with that. Uh, many of you have already posted yours to Seesaw. So if you need help in any way with Adobe Spark, please let me know. Um, and I am happy to help you get it, get it going. Um, on Thursday, we will have some math help. So the Eagles, you will meet with me on Thursday at 11. Munchkins, I will see you at 1130 on Thursday. And on Friday, we have two meets. Um, we will meet with your book club. Um, and you can see your scheduled time. And also, Miss Behar is having music at 1030. So you're going to want to join her for, for music. That should be a lot of fun. Okay, so here's what your week is looking like. Don't forget to check in every day to see how you're doing. What zone are you in? Um, for morning meeting, we have a new flip grid this week. Um, hopefully that's keeping it from loading too slowly to have a new grid each week. So you can scan the code with a smartphone if you need to, or you can click the link right here in order to go to the link, in order to go to Flipgrid. Okay, um, here is what your weekly assignments are going to look like. All your assignments will be due on Saturday, April 18th. Um, math, uh, you will have reflex for 10 minutes. You will have your daily math review assigned in Google Classroom. And in Freckle, adaptive math in geometry, where the bunny is, I want you to do two sets of problems every day. So two sets in geometry. Um, for language arts, we are going to open up our biographies. Remember those? We were working on them before we left. And we're gonna turn, the, we're gonna finish those up this week and turn them in using Google Classroom. So you're gonna, uh, you're, you can get to your biography in Google Classroom, open it up in Google Docs, and then you're gonna be finishing that up this week. Um, use the internet if you need to continue researching um, and finish, that, finish up that biography and turn it in using Google Classroom. Um, Lexia packet, two pages per day. If you needed a new Lexia packet, they are on their way in the mail. So please check your mail every day if you were expecting a new Lexia packet. And if you need a new one, let me know and I will mail one to you. Um, Lexia, you're supposed to log in and work for 20 minutes until your weekly goal is met. And I want you to read 45 minutes or more each day. Um, this is up from 30 minutes because I'm reducing our workload a little bit and I want you to do a little bit more reading. And don't forget about book club. Um, I know some of us had connectivity issues this week. Hopefully that won't happen this week. Um, so you will know what to read by Friday and remember to make two to three book snaps this week. Our extras this week include another Adobe Spark video project 
an art project and a virtual field trip on Tuesday to learn about the California Gold Rush and music with Mrs. Behar, Spihar on Friday. So those are our extras. So that's what our week's gonna look like. Okay, book club assignments. You have your new chapters to read for your book. We are almost three quarters of the way through with our books. Um, so you guys are doing a good job with that. Just make sure you stay caught up so that you can participate in our book club uh, in a good way on Friday. And book clubs, remember to post book snaps. Okay, we um, so on Friday, hopefully we can use those during our Google Meets. Stay caught up, don't let your group down. Use the book snaps to share important reactions you have to your book and use jots to help with your book snaps in small group discussion. And most of all, I hope you enjoy your book. And here is our book club schedule, mostly the same except for the Littles group and the Tiara Friends group. You have a new time, so please note your new book club time if you're in those two groups. And I did that so that we can all participate in the, the live music with, with our music teacher, and that will be at 1030. So if you're in the Chocolate Touch group, we will end our book club early enough so that you can join in on music on Friday. Okay, um, don't forget your online reading log. It's in Google Classroom and then you open it up in Google Docs. Make sure you're filling that out each day. Okay, Monday, um, just like what we discussed before, you have three math assignments and five things to do in language arts. Make sure you're highlighting each item as you complete it each day. And don't forget to take a picture of your Lexia packet pages and post them on your Google slide. Um, Tuesday is looking a lot like Monday, except at 10 o'clock we have our virtual field trip to a gold rush mining town via Google Meet. Don't be late, it's gonna be fun. Okay, and there's your Lexia packet pages. Wednesday is a little different. We will be starting a new Adobe Spark video. This week, I want you to use your creativity to brainstorm some project ideas you could do with Adobe Spark. Some ideas could be biography, like maybe the person you studied, you might wanna do an Adobe Spark on that person, or a how-to video, how to make a quesadilla, how to ride a bike, I don't know. Um, maybe you'd want to make a day, a video about a typical day in your life or any topic that interests you. I know some of you, when you were trying out Adobe Spark, you made some videos like on animal habitats and things like that. So anything that interests you could also be a topic. Um, after you decide on your topic, you will create a storyboard to plan your video. Uh, you'll watch this video to find out what that would be all about and then on Friday you will work on your video Wednesday you will just plan it out Friday you will actually do your video <clears throat> Thursday is a lot like Monday and Tuesday and then Friday you have a few things to do in language arts don't forget about music with Miss Behar and your Adobe Spark video will be on Friday Okay, I have a lot of things here up here posted for you for math help. Hopefully you're using those when you get stuck with anything having to do with geometry. And our art project, you will be creating an ink elephant. All you will need is some paper and a marker, not a Sharpie, but just a regular marker such as a, a Crayola marker. It does not have to be a Crayola marker just as long as it's not a permanent marker. So no permanent markers, no waterproof markers, because you'll be using water to make paint out of the marker. So that takes you through the steps. Okay, mystery science. There's a few, um, there's six of them right there in case you didn't get a chance to look at those last week. You can look at mystery science this week. And if you want something extra to do, here are some suggestions. 
All right, and don't forget about if you want to connect with Mr. Manalo or Mrs. Sewell or Ms. Behar, you can do that here. If you missed anything, you can always go to our YouTube channel to see what videos are there for you. And I know that some of you were begging all year to learn about cursive writing, and now is your chance. So you can go to the cursive writing uh, links and practice at home on your cursive writing. You can maybe learn how to write your name, for starters. OK, if you need some extra support if you're having a bad day, and there are some things just for fun. OK, so remember, stay caught up with your schoolwork. Be respectful of your education. Make the best of your learning opportunity opportunities, and your brain will thank you. OK, most of all, I do miss you so much. I hope you all are doing well. I think about you all the time. And I can't wait to see you um, on Google Meet. OK, I hope you all have a good week. See you soon. Bye.